Hello everybody and welcome to another modded character showcase. Today we are going to be showing off the playable Delirium character. Seems very interesting. Of course, we do have the streak. I'm going to hopefully keep it alive. He doesn't seem like a ridiculously hard character. I know a little bit about him, not too much. Of course, one thing that you can clearly see is that uh, we are currently uh, Delirium Isaac. And that is by no coincidence. There's actually a Delirium version of each character, I believe. I'm not sure how many characters have Delirium forms, but a good few of them do. And essentially, when we get hit, we're going to switch character based on how much charge we have in our pocket active. And by the way, our pocket active all have unique effects. You can also see we have a weird mix match of health up here, but very intriguing character indeed. I'm hoping this goes well. Uh, I don't know what any of the actives do. I know that, like, the Delirious D6 isn't just a standard D6, um, and... Likewise for the other Delirium pocket items, Ceiling with the Stars is a nice grab off the bat here. And we go down to the next floor, we get Lemmageddon Wisps. Unfortunately, this has instantly killed our Delirium um, visual vibe, which is slightly upsetting. But honestly, unfortunately, that's kind of one of the issues with modding and modded costumes. It is so overwhelmingly difficult to keep the aesthetics of a character when inter interacting with modded costumes that it's not even worth doing. And there you go. There's our first switch. We have become the delirious version of Andromeda. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. But yeah, unfortunately, Sealing with the Stars has, um, has got rid of our delirium vibes. I'm a little upset about that. But the character, the, vi uh, the actual play style still stands. But yes, I'm unsure exactly how the actors work. And by the way, there's something else you might have noticed that's kind of interesting about this character. Not only did we switch upon getting hit there, but we lost our charge. So if you don't manage to charge your active, you're going to be a little screwed because, yeah, unfortunately, you do lose uh, all of your current charge if you get hit. So... We, uh, well, that's if you get hit and uh, end up transforming. So you do have to be particularly careful about when and where you get hit. And if you want to actually try and utilize your active item, you have to go quite a long time without getting hit. Because remember, if our active charge is higher, the chances of us switching increases. Uh, I believe it's 100% once we reach um, full kilter, once we reach full charge. But anyways, let's continue onwards. Uh, a decent first floor, seeing one of the stars should hopefully help us out going down to the next floor here. We should get two... Lemmageddon Wisps, and they are Betrayal and the t Reverse Tower, I think? Or is it the Normal Tower? It's one of them, but yeah. Hopefully, we can actually utilize Void here. I'm not sure what the difference between the um, Delirious Void and Regular Void is. Like I said, I think they do have some differences. I'm not actually 100% certain on that. It might just be that they, they, they work the same as the vanilla version does. But I'm led to believe, at least, or at least I, I think I remember someone saying that it is different. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll find that out as we go along here. But yes, getting um, transformed from Isaac straight into Apollyon. I don't know if there's an order to which character you switch in or if it's completely random. Based on what I got transformed into first time around, I'm led to believe it seems to be completely random. Ooh, yes. We got Pride. Very nice. Pride is incredibly strong. Uh, also, we get Rainbow Tears as well. So yeah, this has uh, changed the run quite a bit, certainly. This has uh, given us quite a bit more power. I love the fact that Pride gets his um, gets his floor-related sprite as well. That's really interesting. So we need to be careful to not get hit here because we will almost definitely transform based on our current charges. It's okay though, Pride's doing a good job. We get a pill here, we'll pop that. It's a tears down. Gotta love it. So if we can manage to not get hit in this room, we can actually use Void on this item if it's not good. We don't have a key yet, though, so no, we can't. Okay, this is a, it, it's definitely adding some extra pressure to the run. Also, this tier, tier rate is, is terrible. Oh, God, there's the key. You're definitely adding some extra pressure. I like it. Um, that is Pinball, which I quite like, so I'll take it. I do want to use Void, but I don't want to purposely use it on a good item just to say I've used it. Pinball is a genuinely very good item. It's even better when you got it rainbow tiered style. I like it. Hopefully we can, like, just get a bad boss item and avoid that instead. I just want to see if it does anything different is all. Obviously, I don't want to bother using it before I need to use it, though. I don't want to just waste it. Go on, my pridey boy. Our, um... Our wisps here are helping. Oh, unfortunately this time... 
We did swap over. I love the way it glitches out the room as well, like a void really would. I like that. Uh, we did get a new item here, which is the Delirious Bird, which is interesting because that's not Eve's normal spacebar item. Whereas the other two have been so far, so I'm intrigued to see how this works. This one we can basically just use on a combat room as well. Oh god. I don't know why Monstro... By the way, I, I really don't know why Monstro champions are still broken. I did uninstall Sig Monstro, and I'm still having the issue. If anyone out there knows why this is, then please do let me know. We'll get a speedball. I think we'll leave the devil deal for now. Let's go to the next ball. We're one charge off our Delirious Bird. But so far, I, I'm really, really liking this. And also, we've managed to get our, um, our visuals back look. We've managed to regain our Delirium form. I think that's because we took Pinball and it overwrote um, Stealing with the Stars. I really don't want to get hit here. I, I want to try out my bird. Just leave me the heck alone. Oh. Oh, we've got a Dry Baby now. Hello. Oh, of course, uh, Stealing with the Stars triggered again. I didn't think about that. So we got Dry Baby, um, which is Delirious Form. That's so cool. The Dry Baby gets its Delirious Sprite. I love that. That's such a good little detail. We need to fire it up so badly. That's such a cool little detail. I really like that. We've got bath bombs as well, I think, is the other item we've got going on. Dude, our damage and tier rate is so bad. Right, so let's pop this this time. Um. Oh, okay, so it's like Soul of Eve. I don't know why uh, that, that secret room opened. This time we've got Delirious Faith, because we tra transformed into Bethany upon using that. Okay. Out we go. By the way, also, I, can, I, I do find it funny that Pride, he, at one point, he was, um, he was his ba Burning Basement version, and he still is because of where we spawned him. So, I'm thinking, if I, I want to, I want to see if this works. If I drop the trinket and re-pick it up, will it change his sprite to this floor's version? I think it will. Yeah! <laughs> We've got like a little uh, costume editor for uh, for Pride here. That's pretty funny. I like that. God damn, our damage is bad. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what Delirious Faith does. If I was to guess, it's going to give us some random uh, wisps. Man, with our damage, these bloody invincible enemies are just hell. Oh my god, they're just painful. Painful. We basically only get two shots when they pop their head up. But luckily, we have Pride to help us out. Because if we didn't, we'd, we'd be having a relatively rough run here, I think. Okay, one more room. Try not to get hit. By the way, self-damage does not count. Um, if we do, if we take self-damage through a machine or whatever, we're not going to get um, Delirious flipped to another character. That, this, is, this is truly tragic. Our damage and fire rate is just abysmal. Oh, that's nice. Hello. Pinball's helping. So let's pop this in another combat room here. And it did indeed give us a full suite of wisps. I like that. Thank you. We, we got back our void. Ooh, this is another good item. Um, enemies killed will spawn friendly poop creep. Thank you. I will take it. Okay, down we go. And we get ourselves rune bag. Hell yes. Rune bag's very good. Yeah, I'm definitely curious to see. Oh, Runebag has its own Delirium Sprite too. This is so cool. This is a, that, that's that's a detail I didn't expect, but I highly appreciate. It's a very good little idea there. It's it, like it seems obvious thinking about it now, but I hadn't actually thought about it prior to playing the character. So, also by the way, the poop creep thing that we got going on, significant buff for us. We actually get fire rate when we're standing on this, so, and damage. So yeah, it's going to be a Huge boon to our success here, whenever we can uh, utilize that. Uh, there's a cell heart in here, interesting. Diplopia, I think we'll grab Diplopia, you know. Oh, there's our bath bombs. Give me that Diplopia. Oh, we can buy the soul heart as well, actually. Do that. And we might be able to, like, steal an angel deal or something. Get the extra items, you know. You know the deal. Oh god, yeah, the poop slick is important. I really love this item because it kind of forces your hand if you want to utilize it because you have to 
potentially position yourself quite poorly. What up, peep? Peep, you creep. I think I think uh, Pride is going to absolutely wreck him when he walks into him, so we should be fine here. He is going to jump, of course, eventually. We've got quite a lot of Wisps right now, so we're pretty safe. And we do already have a syringe, so I'll be taking that. As much as I want to use Void, I would rather just have the item. Uh, like, let's see what we get from our stars now. This time we got the little whippy thing and some sort of bomb item. I'm not sure what the bomb item is. The whippy thing, though, is good. The knot, whatever it's called. I think it's not something along those lines. I love how stunned enemies just don't fire. Good, good. A lot of big rooms, unfortunately. Like I said, though, we've got a lot of wisps right now, which is very helpful. Quasar damages all items in the room, turns item pedestals into three Lemmageddon wisps. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. They are pretty rare, so... Deemed quite powerful, but I like them. I like them. One permanent item for three temporary. Maybe three is a little high, and I might I might have put it as two myself, but I still think that's a cool idea. It's like the Quasar item, but um, a single use. Oh, very interesting. Okay. Um, so because we have the uh, the bath bombs as our as one of our wisps that's floating about, but also we have the Colostomia item that can sometimes drop butt bombs. We're getting some extra utility there, and we are on a wet floor. When you're on wet floors, the bombs spawn extra shots, so a lot of good stuff going on for us right now. Good, good. Lots of stunning going on for us too. This knot thing is just a tad bit strong with how often it's procking. Might be a little too much. But it's it's a fun item nonetheless. It doesn't actually do that much damage, so it's it's fairly harmless. Right. Plus five bombs plus osteoblast. Wait, was that a pedestal, Nick? I think it was. This one I'm definitely gonna void. And that did give us stats. Okay, that seemed to work like a regular uh a regular void, that one. We've got the delirious book here. I don't know if it would have done something different had it been an active item, potentially. Like I said, I'm not too sure. But we've now got half decent stats after that. At least damage is good. Fire rate still leaves a little bit to be desired, but we did unfortunately get hit on zero charge or even or just one charge and got re-rolled there. Uh, consume all items and pickups in the room. Each pickup has a 50% chance of turning into a wisp. Uh, pedestal items are guaranteed to give five spectral wisps. Okay, so we've got like two different things here. We've got one for the Lemmageddon wisps and one for the normal wisps. I kind of... I think the Lemme Get Wisps are going to be a little bit better, so I'll take that. Sorry to see you go. Unfortunately, no Angel deal still. But this floor, we have a 100% chance. Uh, Lemme Get Wisps we got this time. I genuinely can't tell what they are. I think Contagion and Spoonbender? I'm pretty sure... Oh, wait, no, Ludo. We got Ludo and Spoonbender. Is that what it is? Yeah, we got Ludo and Spoonbender. Honestly, not a terrible combo. It's not great, but I think with our fire rate, it's not going to be amazing, so we'll see. The homing is very, very strong. Like, I am not I'm not touching this at all. I'm, I'm not moving my, uh, my, my arrow keys in the slightest here. It was just following those enemies very closely. It's doing quite a lot of damage. We've also got our Delirious Box here, which I'm intrigued to see how this works. I wonder if it's going to double our familiars permanently or, like, give us an extra familiar when it switches. I doubt it would double our familiars permanently. That'd be crazy. But that's just kind of a thought. This is pretty strong, though. I'm liking this combo. Right, so let's uh, pop this in here. It didn't double our... Um... This time we got Delirious Heart. It didn't seem to double our familiars at all. It did give us a Peeper's Eye. We didn't have that Peeper's Eye before, right? And we have it permanently. Okay. 
So we don't get it as an item, but we do now have a peeper's eye permanently. And I don't, yeah, that's not a wisp either. Okay, so it does do what I thought it'd do actually. We got the Book of the Dead here. Unfortunately, not great for us. Oh wait, there you go. We can uh, do that on it, can't we? And get ourselves Doppel, other options, and perfume. Some good stuff there. I like it. Ooh, Soul of Eden. Hell, hell yeah. Oh god, that's still so broken. I'm sorry. I don't know why. I need to find out how to fix this. It's very peculiar looking. At least they're still easily killable. It's not like they're completely invisible. That would be quite bad. <laughs> I'm wondering how the Delirious Heart's gonna work. I imagine it's just gonna give us like a soul heart or something. It might even heal this broken heart potentially. I can imagine that. Uh, yeah, let's just go straight for the boss. I'm liking having Ludo right now. Ludo has been very, very helpful. Our shot speed leaves a bit to be desired, though. I will say that. Good, good. Uh, Soul of Eden's probably pretty good on this, so let's use our heart here and see what changes. It gave us a... It did give us a soul heart, I believe, and it gave us a burn heart on the floor, which I think that means re it re-rolls hearts. Let's check in here. Zealot hearts are very, very good. We've got a very Lemmageddon Wisp-based run here, which is kind of funny. Uh, do you know what? This is a little bit of a strange one. Okay, no. I was going to say a strange one. Because I was going to use... Um, I was going to crack this guy open and then use Diplopia. But I, I don't have any way of breaking this dude, I don't think. Which is a real shame. Hmm, I'm trying to think, is there any way I can generate an explosion? Can you, like, walk into this guy and see what happens? No, you can't. I don't think we have any way to generate an explosion, unfortunately. And it's closed. I've sort of eaten this, and we get ghost bombs. I'll take ghost bombs. And um, we'll hop on down. I'm really loving this so far. We've definitely got a pretty powerful run going on here with all of the uh, Lemmageddon Wisps we got going on. All of which have come from the Repentance Plus so far, by the way. Which is not a bad thing. I think Repentance Plus does a good job of um, taking an underutilized mechanic and making it a little uh, more popular. Making it a little more uh, common. It might be a little too common in this run in particular. But of course, not every run is going to be like this run. I need to kind of remember that. That's something I've been kind of getting a little hung up on balance with Repentance Plus recently. And I think, I think we have their uh, Blood Explosion, by the way. I think one thing that I'm getting a little too hung up on is I'll have a particular run and go, oh shit, this thing's overpowered. But then I kind of, thinking about it after, I realized that it's on it was only as powerful as it was in the bounds of that run, in the combinations of that run. It's not always going to be like that, so I can't really judge how powerful these Zealot Hearts and Sealing with the Stars. Sealing with the Stars itself isn't that powerful. It's, it's, it's good. It can give you bad items. It can give you good items. It's only two per floor. It's not crazy. I like it. It's a good idea. Um, the the trinket we got. Trinket, sorry. The, um, forget the name of it now. The, the rune we got is strong, but very rare in normal circumstances. Um, Grant's... What the fuck? Grant's what? Fim? Fimble Winter? What the fuck is a Fimble Winter? What? This isn't fi What the hell's Fimble Winter? What? Grant's Fimble Winter for a room. It had a picture of Buttermilk from a different mod, which is confusing. Um, <laughs> I don't quite know how that happened. Let's pop this and see what we get. Oh god, we uh, froze that guy for a minute there. Um, yeah. Also, let's uh, let's swap out pride. I need pride to be a new color. Hey, pride! You didn't change at all. Rude. I prefer orange pride. I want him back. Oh my god, the herming! The herming keeps pulling onto the wrong enemy, and I don't know why. It seems so obsessed with the maggots. I want to kill the boss first. Luckily, we're not getting hit all that much, but that's mainly due to the Lemmageddon Wisps, I'll be honest. 
That's a very good item. Steam sale in there. Can't afford it right now, though. Yeah, we have a a mighty large amount of Lemmigate and Wisps right now. It's kind of crazy. The Zealot Hearts it normally aren't that strong, but in combination with what we have right now are quite strong. Dude, the Herming on this is so frustrating. It's so... Like, it just keeps pulling towards the wrong enemy. Just stick to the enemy I'm closest to, goddammit. Go, my crow buddies. Swarm. I don't know what all these meteor bits are, uh, are doing as well. Man. It's like, hey, what's the weakest enemy in the room? That's what I'm going to herm on, in on. <laughs> Not the priority I'm looking for right now. Probably just take that. But so far, like, as, as overpowered as this run is, I am really loving this run. This run's got a lot going for it. Uh, I don't think I want anything from there. I'm, I'm still sort of looking for a good place to deploy Got some more Lemmigetting Wisps in the house. I kind of want to just let the Herming do its thing at this point, because it's just not listening to me at all. So one thing I'm wondering, by the way, is you saw that Butt Bomb that dropped there, and that Butt Bomb didn't adopt our Ghost Bomb's item, but yet it did adopt the Bath Bomb item. So why did it adopt one and not the other? Stop aiming for the Red Skulls, please. <laughs> it's so frustrating. I, I really like the uh, the pocket items effect. I think that's a very cool idea. Like, I, I kind of... I, I'm not... I'm genuinely... I'm not a very big fan of players this boss characters. Because I remember, like, the horsemen had them in, in Afterbirth Plus and they were all a bit meh, in my opinion. They weren't anything super special. Um, and, yeah, so I, I've always been a bit meh. A bit like, uh, whatever. Oh, also, little deliriums. They're so cute. A little bit meh on those sort of things. How come How come some of these aren't giving me proper descriptions? That's weird. Yeah, uh, so I, I, I was kind of like a bit skeptical thinking, eh, do I, do I really want to play this character? Do I really care? But then after seeing it, and especially after playing it, I'm a lot more intrigued. I think it's a, I think it's a very, very cool idea. They've done a very unique job. Also, the... Um, the playable delirium is by the same person that made the playable hush and the playable hush is similarly quite unique it isn't finished yet playable hush has a lot more work to go um as opposed to this one allows you to restart the room and guarantees better room rewards interesting okay that's that, that that's pretty cool i like that at one point, I want to um, I want to make a document. This sound I, I, I've been talking about it a lot, and it's probably probably too much at this point. But at one point, I want to make a document um, and basically go through every mod that I use and talk about everything I think is too strong and how I would change it. It'd be huge, and obviously, it'd be addressed to basically every modder. But I think it could be quite interesting. I don't. I wouldn't expect every single one of them to take all of my suggestions on board and change things. But uh, I, yeah, I would just be kind of interested to just go through all of them and see where, see where some of the problems lie. You see where things can be changed and fixed. See where, because I'd, I'd also probably know as well what things I really do like and what things I d th think don't need any change at all. Things that are perfect already. Okay, I can't even decide which boss it wants to herm in on. God damn it! Creatine power is amazing. Perfection is great, but. What the hell? Okay, I did the music again for some reason. Duality. Why? I don't need that now. Sadly, um, our Diplopia has not been all too useful right now. Now, the question is, with Diplopia, do I double all four chests before I open them on the chest or after? Crawl space that I can't access. Good, good. We've, we've also got Alexa Baby in the mix here. No Delirium form for Alexa Baby, sadly, but <laughs> I wouldn't expect the uh, creator of this mod to create Delirium forms of every single familiar in existence. 
That's a little much. That's quite a lot of work. They've already done a lot of good sprite work. I'm glad that we fixed the issue with Ceiling with the Stars removing our delirious form visuals, because one of the... Obviously, this isn't a huge part of the mod, because it is just how the thing looks, but, like, I really like the way that this mod looks. I think the, 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 the developer, whoever the sprite artist is, has done an incredibly good job at creating delirium forms of all the characters, and it adds a lot of style. I think... I've kind of talked about this a lot in Enter the Gungeon videos before, especially modding, where I, I say that... And a mod can be, at, like, conceptually and gameplay-wise as, as, as good as anything. But I really think what makes a mod is the little things, like the, the sprite work and the sound design. Things that, they just, they make it feel more cohesive with the vanilla game. They make it feel a little more complete. Uh, a little more special and it's like for example in Gungeon in a recent video I got a weapon that I'd had before from a mod that never named made called the clown shotgun that is exactly as it sounds it's a, it's a shotgun that looks like a sort of clown thing and it's meant to be a mimic uh, like a mic take on the uh, the idea of the clown car where there's many many clowns in one small car so it's a small shotgun that fires many many pellets it's a, it's a good idea but prior it that's that's what it did and that's all it did i think it also has bounty bullets as well but like it didn't have a special sound effect it didn't have any special visuals really apart from the sprite off the gun and it was good but it was a it was just a little so so i didn't really care about it all that much um but i will say ooh, do you know what yeah we'll keep this joke card for now i'll also utilize my delirious bird in this next room here because i keep forgetting about it um yeah, uh, and it was just a little so-so. It was whatever. I liked it, but I, it was it wasn't anything crazy. But then he made custom uh, sprites for the ammo counter on the right for every bullet that looked like little clown shells, and then also added a honk horn shooting effect, uh, shooting sound effects, and it just made the gun feel so much more enjoyable to use and i feel like this mod is a perfect example of that even if some people I, I personally don't i think the concept of this character is very good but even if you did think the concept of the character was a little dull or plain the effort that's gone into the effects of the character and the visuals really makes it so much more special i think without these effects and visuals this character would be nowhere near as popular as it is and nowhere near as interesting as it is but they've really done a very good job i applaud them Anyhow, let's uh, stand here and let our Lemma get and Wisps tank every single shot. We got ourselves. Turns all your heart content. Am I? Do I keep getting envy one? Oh no, I think it's my uh, my rune bag that's giving me these. Turns all your heart containers into burn hearts filled with rotten hearts. No, thank you. Let's go here. Ooh, hello. We got a patched heart. Haha, -ha, broken heart removed. Patched hearts are a little overpowered, but I keep them on anyways because they're fun. But they are quite overpowered. Uh, da -da -da -da. Honestly, I was going to use my de um, Diplopia here, but there's like no reason to <laughs> like, at all, really. Uh, I think I'm just going to take this and leave. Let's go. La -la 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 -la. Let's go. Right, one second, guys. Let's continue. Let's go. Okay. Did I go to the dark room? Oh, I didn't. I see what's happened here. Um, I used the... That, that was my, my own stupid fault. I used the uh, black market thing on the wrong floor, and therefore it took me down, guaranteed to go down, which means I've been taken to... Um, I've been taken to a floor that I shouldn't be at. So we're going to end up cutting this run a little short, unfortunately. Unless we get a Delirium Portal, which I will take if I get. Because I think this run is capable. Oh, hello. I was like, what's left? It's you. I see now. Oh, wait. I already had... Uh, <laughs> I have Leah. Oh, shit. They still fire. That scared me. I didn't realize they would still fire. That caught me off guard, that did. I will take a full run reroll if it gives me one, by the way. Unfortunately, it did not. Darn, tootin'. Interesting little room here. 
Can't believe I missed one fire there, but oh well. Stop. God damn it, Luda. Stop pulling me away from the enemy I'm firing at. Very frustrating. You dead as well? Ooh, damn. This, this is an interesting little room here. God damn. This is not a good enemy for Luda. <laughs> It's the, the herming. It's so bad. Leave me alone. I don't, I, apparently, I never actually finished that room. That was close. That was a lot going on there. We got a reverse card there real quick. Chariot. Ooh, wait. I just realized something. We can go back and get that stamper, whatever it was called. And uh, suck it up. With a delirious void. And that is an active as well, so I'm interested to see how this happens. It gave me stats. Okay. Ooh, we got delirious key. What character are we now? I mean, I can't quite tell. Who would have a red key? Is That that, that is red key's uh, sprite, at least. Delirious key. Intriguing. Draw two. Black Rune. I think Black Rune's probably better for us here. I think this is the end of our run, though, here. I'm just going to plant bombs everywhere so we get uh, a bunch of ghosts out there. Doing their thing. Go, my ghosty friends. <laughs> the ghosts are so good. I love ghost bombs. Right. So unfortunately this ends the run here, surprisingly so, but a very fun run nonetheless and a great look at a fantastic character. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.